All right. I know it doesn't look like much, especially not with a group of children clearly needing the restroom that I actually don't know if we have anywhere for guests to tend to their bladders anywhere nearby here. But, my friends... Okay, apparently we do have a bladder issue. Um, as... Okay, maybe I need to do something about that? But we'll start working on that in a minute, I suppose. <laughs> My friends, hello and welcome back to the Pixel Sanctuary, where today we are going to transform these mysterious black boxes into pieces of, of beauty and wonder and awe that are going to inspire people to really be passionate and care about the natural world. And I am just so freaking tickled about that because we're going to be putting in the sloth and the butterflies and hopefully being able to make a beautiful naturalistic sort of jungle forest path. I've kind of pinned a lot of hopes on a lot of things that I haven't tried yet, but you know, it's good to have dreams. It's good to have aspirations that we can start with. Also, we still need to go ahead and move the solar panels really quickly. Uh, we kind of ran out of time to do that last time. You know, I, I know I can't keep you guys here forever after all. Ooh, what's this one? Let's see. Can I, oh, this is the one that we redid over here. Yeah, I really liked that one. <laughs> But I was thinking it would be really fun to have this solar panel out. I think we need to have a couple solar panels in different locations if we want to be able to make this work. And have a little solar garden where people could kind of step in, maybe sit down for just a second, learn uh, how important and how good it is to use solar panels. And I think I can get that connected. Ooh, is there some sort of invisible path right here? Because that's a no-go. Interesting. There might be something afoot over here that we might have to take care of. Uh, but I do think it'd be really rewarding to have a location. Is this a transformer? It is. Ooh, that's really pretty too. <gasps> Ooh, that's really pretty. Ooh, ah. I want to use that for things other than a transformer. Can that just like be a little path people can walk through? Like I can remove the building? Jeez. That's lovely. All right. Where, 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 okay. Wait, where is it? There. Okay. I found it. <laughs> yeah. We definitely need to put little stickers on things that I need to remember. Um, yeah, this would be very nice. Okay. Okay. Let's, let's just focus. This shouldn't, ooh, ooh, wind turbine. The guests really don't mind the wind power either. And that might be, ooh, I wonder if I could get the wind turbines to play nicely with a with a bridge path because I've been having a little bit of problems uh, getting some of the solar panels on the ground over here. Huh, okay, I think there must be some sort of path messed up over here, which kind of sucks, but let's see, what if I did... I guess that does need a bridge leading up to it. I love seeing how people build these things. It's just so cool. And that's not quite the look I want to go for either. So, all right, all right, all right. Make up your mind, Siri. Um, we could do this as the little jungle. I really, you know what? I, I just need to stand my ground and admit that I really just like the look of that little, this one right over here. We'll give it a little sticker of love too. Uh, I just really like the look of this thing. <laughs> so let's see if I can get the transformer removed and then this into the right location. So now we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this and we're gonna check. Okay, so we might need a couple of these solar panels in different places. I can put another one over here, no problem. We'll deal with like making it look nice later. And let's check. Oof, oof. Okay, maybe there's a lot more. <laughs> There's a lot more that needed those solar panels than I realized. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Wait, how have so many animals escaped? For trying out <laughs> Kalipo. One of these days I'm going to figure out. Oh Jade, the pygmy hippo died? <gasps> no, not another one of our precious pygmy hippos. Alright, I'm gonna have to go ahead. I'm gonna add that one in too. Oh, oh Jade. You were you were really you were deeply beloved. I promise. All right, let's get the, the, the memorial. And I'm gonna add Jade to our memorial wall here of, well, these are particularly the pygmy hippos, I believe. Let's get that embedded in the wall a little bit. There. 
In loving memory of Jade. She she died of old age at 42.7 years old. That's really, really, really good, if you ask me. For a pygmy hippo, I think. Pretty sure they don't normally live that long. Also, I know that every- ah! Okay. Oh my gosh, I have yellow anacondas over here. What is this thing? What did I do over here? <laughs> oh, this is horrifying. No, no, no. Be nice. Be nice to myself. So this is just different. Tropical fruit orchard, my foot. Um, it's just different than I remember doing in the past. Also, what do you mean we don't have any like nice things set up? So like, what? If I have the research for them, why have I not spoiled them to bits and pieces with all of the things they want? Oh my gosh. All right, and then uh, Queen Cherry Blossom, please. I know that your royal self does not like to hang out with the people, so if you could just give me a minute. And Hannah, oh my gosh, okay, look. Can I move you guys somewhere else? Maybe over here? Maybe that's what I need to start doing. Okay, Queen Cherry Blossom the second. Come here. If you're gonna fuss, I'm gonna move you over here and hopefully you'll be good. And now I have a panda who's 20 years old who I never even named. This is, this is, this is how we don't get sloths and butterflies here that I can show off to my beloved husband. Oh, okay, did I get all of the power restored? No. <laughs> I truly thought I had already done that. Oh, okay, well, before we do that, I do want to come down and I wanted to try to make this look like a little bit more naturalistic. Everything is kind of quickly escaping my grasp with that desire though. Uh, so let's see. I was thinking we could do something like that. And then I kind of wanted to remove like this window panel and that vent. Oh, this is really quite cool to see how detailed people can get. And why remove those? Because I kind of wanted to put like a thatch roofing on or maybe plants. Oh my gosh, these planks. I've never seen such thin planks before. I, I it, it, it feels like I've kind of like opened up like some sort of Ikea guide and I'm just gobsmacked because I'm like, what do you mean all of these things exist? This is really nice. I do love how all of this, okay, actually that's covering some stuff up. So I'll leave that. Even though I, I'm, I'm ambivalent at best. Um, okay, okay, come on, Siri. Wait, 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 watch. We can do this, we can do this quickly, guys. I, I can do this quickly. Hang on. <laughs> We're gonna be able to have it look nice. Um, let's see, this one? Let's see, is that sharp enough? No, wow, okay, so I think this one's tilted like so. Yes, okay. So can I, sneaky sneak, replace, aha, do I like that though? Let's actually check the other thatch roofing and we want it to be, whoa, do I like that? Um, hmm, not really. <laughs> All right, I, I do kind of like this one though, I, I appreciate, kind of that naturalistic look, but I actually think that it's going to be more fun to put plants on this just as it is. And I also think it might be more fun to maybe break the back of this up a little bit so that it matches some of the other like temple-esque things we have. I know this is this is me removing plants, I know, but I have an idea for how I want this to vaguely look. So hang in there, guys. Oh, I want to put my sloths in. I'm never going to have sloths at this rate if I don't, <laughs> if I don't hurry, but I guess sloths don't hurry. Oof, ouch, Siri, your jokes. All right, so I was thinking it would be nice to maybe have like a, the temple walls sort of mixed in a little bit because we want to try vaguely to keep some of those motifs together, maybe, <laughs> desperately. Uh, can I actually do that over here? Hmm. This is really forcing a few different styles together, isn't it? Whoa. You've been able to do that for a while now, haven't you? And I just realized it. That's alright. That's alright. That's alright. 
that's all right. Nope, nope, nope. That's not all right. <laughs> okay, so let me think. Would that tie that together? Or I actually don't think so. Um, so let me come over here. I very much like these lovely walls. So I wonder if I can put some of them loose over along here and we can use this as like a nice little border but we'll save that for later uh i need one of the bigger walls actually why did i come in here going watch this guys we're actually gonna be able to get the slots in and then all of this happens well, look look it's the oh we could have like a little mason area where i could just have these already recolored and matching everything else stone pieces kind of like maybe laying on the, on the ground in a little pile that would work out that would work out and then i would finally be able to like just pick these pieces up a lot faster i think that might be quite clever actually we'll work on that later uh because i do love the idea of having the different professions just have spots where we can grab the templates so that then we could do things like this a lot faster okay i think a little more over here a little more over there and all right i'm gonna need two of them so one one there and then Ugh. why siri <laughs> <laughs> Why can you not just let things be? Because because I want it to be fun and nice, that's why. Alright, so let's dive back in here. Because once we once we make this solar panel fancy pantsy once, we've made it fancy pantsy forever. Alright, so we've removed those walls. I like it, I like it. Sharon, the Indian peafowl, is about to have some new peafowl babies. Very exciting. Uh, kind of closed that off. I guess I could have left the plants, but you only live once, I suppose. And that's good to connect to the ground. Okay. <laughs> Ugh. Have this done. We can at least have this transform into some sort of solar garden and get a little bit of benefit for our troubles and maybe even put in some like education spots here in a little while. Um, I might even be able to come on down. Where is my lovely natural path i would really like if the terrain could maybe be soil there we go all right is that gonna match dun, dun, dun. natural path natural path curb yes uh okay could you all right all right hang in there little thing uh oh there is like a mystery thing in my way over here isn't there that's interesting i suppose we're gonna have to like try to work around that somehow all right well at least we've got that little part of our solar garden done we can connect it over here i wanted to have like many more gardens what is going on over there i don't know do i have like some sort of hidden underground mess probably all right yay one thing done <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead and we are going to work on everything else though. So let's clear away all of these walls so that we can just see the beauty of what is potentially going to be this walkthrough exhibit. No floor, no curtain, get those out of there. Just a beautiful empty space that is going to be known as, and let me pull up the uh, random name generator, as Abby. This is gonna be Abby's uh, slow, slow sloth, hmm, serenade or like stroll. There we go. Alliteration wins again. Uh, all right, and hang on, Abby. No, Leela! My 36 year old pygmy hippo now died. Ugh. Oh my gosh, oh, what is all of this chaos over here? Oh, don't look, don't look, it's painful. But that's okay, it's because we were learning something. Look, and now people are actually learning from from having to go ahead and, and have the memorials for our, our beloved pygmy hippos. They lived a lot longer than they normally would. I'm letting you guys know that. Maybe I should have like some sort of sappy memorial. <laughs> 
like little video playing on one of the screens here that has that terrible song that I used to hear all the time, something about angels cry, and and it was to convince you to donate money to save puppies and kittens. Oh, there's reasons that I don't watch television and do not have cable. And there's also reasons why I ran out of power over here. That's okay, that's okay. That's okay, because that means we have fully updated this and we just have another solar garden section that we can educate people all about. That's gonna be fun, right? Right? We'll go ahead and we'll uh, put it over here. Like so. Did that cover everything again? Um, literally like two inches <laughs> away um, from everything else. All right, maybe I can move this solar panel over here. Could you could you scooch for for just my sanity right 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 uh over here for now? Thank you, thank you. Oh dear. All right, thank you. I really appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> we'll come back to that mess later. Oh, and Guava the second the yellow anaconda passed away, probably of old age, I think. And Nomina, I do not need you interbreeding. Please, 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 please. Let's release you to the wild. Phew. Okay. I need to clean up our lemur area too, but one chaotic project at a time. All right, now it's time to go ahead and oh geez, all the peafowl grew up, so we'll have to we'll have to like serenade and work through with all of them later. Oh, I love the chaos. Why pause when you can fret and be frantic and have to deal with a mess instead? It just it makes me feel like I'm training, you know. Have to stay really like on my toes. And, and you have to stay sharp, you have to stay active in order to handle the chaos. And this chaos is actually going to be none other than... Dun, 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 dun. This is going to be Marsh. So this is actually going to be Michael Marsh. Uh, Marshams. Let's see. Butterfly. Kalei. Let's see. No, well, Kaleidoscope would be really lovely. But let's do Marsh's Living Blossom. Um, Boulevard? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> That's not gonna work. A March is Living Blossom. Uh, Living Blossoms take flight. How about that? There. And the Living Blossoms, in case you didn't get the metaphor, are going to be our lovely, very nice, very nice butterflies in just a second here. Alright, come on. And we're gonna connect this puppy right over to this one. And then this one. And then for crying out loud, I want my... Ooh. No, make my path match. No, you can't have my pretty... Oh, okay, let's do this. And then this. All right, well, we'll figure all of those details out later. Because now we have the two empty spots. Oh, yes. Okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna add in the animals. And I don't know what it's gonna look like after we do that. <laughs> so let's start there and then I can figure out how we're going to put in the plants. But we're gonna add these also to the keepers area. Um, man, those solar panels, don't worry. We're gonna make them fit in somehow. And yes, I know habitat cleanliness is going to be at risk. There's like 15 million peafowl over there. What did you expect? All right, let's see. We'll go ahead and see how big can I make this path that pops off here. Oh, there we go. Wait. Okay, good, good. Malformed path part, not good. Uh, okay. Come on, come on, come on. There's something there that's in my way of- it's in the way of my dreams and hopes and everything else. Ugh. Alright, look. Okay, maybe I can wheel around it. You know, out of my way. Get out of my way. Whatever you are. What is going on right there? It's 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 just our own personal Bermuda Triangle. Like, let's just ignore that annoying thing. Um, and we'll try to work around it. Maybe this way? Maybe I can just start the path like over here and go around it. No, stop that. Stop that. How weird! Huh. Well, maybe this is just going to be like uh, a local local chunk of a garden? Yeah, because I can't connect it there either. Huh. Well, this isn't a sloth. 
And also, apparently, this is not- this is forbidden. <laughs> we- we can't do that. That's so peculiar. I guess we can at least make like a little side alley, I suppose. Where people could come and just have a good sit. Can I get that much done? I'm okay for my like fancy plans for big loopy garden like circles over here at least. Huh. Well, we'll, we'll work on that. We'll work on that. Uh, there'll always be time hopefully to, to just like improve our jungle zone. But for now, let's add in those special animals that we have been waiting for. Also snag this very healthy uh, Malaysian insect female. And we're gonna go ahead and we are going to look for the sloth for the first time. I... Whew, okay. Brown-throated sloth. Great. That's fine. Sure. Okay. Just... That's... <gasps> Oh my gosh, I can't believe that. Okay, well, let's go ahead and we can at least put this into some some staff zones. We can make sure that we've got this this monitored. We can start adding some plants. And then when the time comes, we'll be able to go ahead and leave you Lord Keeper Academy. Lord Keeper Academy. If you guys could take care of all those, that'd be awesome. Um, I think I... I... How do I... Okay, we got the sloth stroll. Okay, so we do have, even though you can't see the outline, we do have both of those exhibits under watch now. Excellent. And I guess I can't do anything else until we actually get the animals in there, huh? It's a sloth! It's, it's gonna die in like two minutes. <laughs> but it's the best we've got, okay? And there we go! Yes! It's our first sloth! And and we need to we need to no no no. All of this all of this needs to go away. All of this needs to go away. We need to have fun. Yeah, none. None of that nonsense. Floor can be mulch, um, apparently, or or nothing. And we should have Francisco in here! Welcome, Francisco! Why can the word of the keeper not reach my walkway, huh? Okay, we should that 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 should be that should be reachable by our keepers. Like our guests are walking through. Um also, how can I make this Okay, let's make this cooler A for our sloth. There we go, little buddy. I don't know where you are yet, but I'm going to look at you in just a second. And because we know literally nothing out, uh, about Francesco uh Francisco other than the fact that by rolling the random name generator, we are going to go ahead and we are going to have Stan. <laughs> what a fantastic name! And Stan, thank you very much for your suggestions about how we could really make the waterways look nice. I'm really glad that you guys are interested in that too. Um, and then let's get rid of the door. There we go. Oh. We're gonna make this a lovely- <gasps> There he is! We're gonna make this a lovely place for Stan to live. I promise. I know- Oh, look at him! I know it doesn't look like much right now, but it is indeed going to be completely awesome. And we will go ahead, we'll get research done about him. We should get one of our, our talk people over here, of course! We need to- Okay, I think this is actually like blowing up. Alright, let's look at the question mechanic. We should like make sure that we have the talks here. We're gonna make it really comfortable. We want people to know more about him. We could have like the the ambient speakers going. It doesn't look like much right now. People don't seem to be slowing down to admire Stan. That somewhat upsets me. But with a little bit of help from our fantastic researchers to really start learning more about this lovely creature. All right, where's our bad research? We're gonna have P. Foul Perplexer Mallory actually come and start studying Stan. And hopefully, with her extremely talented skills, we will be able to have somebody over here soon getting us lots and lots and lots of useful information. And we can also scooch over this animal talk. Can I put it? Oh, I can put it inside of here! Yes! Oh my gosh. That makes me very happy. I'm gonna put two of them in here. K, 
can I go ahead and have it about brown throated sloth? Brown throated sloth is too large for educators to handle. That's totally fine. Um, can you give me like a November stan pock? Because that would be lovely. And we should end up naming the talk something special, of course. But for now, can I like have it? Let's see. Conservation, grassland, South America. Uh, Stan, just to get the exact, like, correct location of where you are from, uh, squared away so that I know I'm giving you the right kind of lovely musical background. I want to make sure we're not just being silly. Where's my brown throated sloth? There you are! And here is Stan, South and Central America in Honduras, Nicaragua, uh, Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia. Okay, got it. So... Did he just says okay good no <laughs> what are you doing alina <laughs> one of these days i'm gonna fill up the hole that the tortoises keep escaping out of but today is not that day i am so happy we have stan and i'm gonna have to come up with like cute little names for the talks that we could go ahead and have and apparently i need to hire another mechanic that can stay in this area so i would like to welcome none other than chip of mint Chip, it's so good that you're still here. We're gonna have Chip of Mint. Um, I kind of want uh, Chip of Mint, the hmm, Chip of Mint, and you're gonna be. How about a soil specialist? What? Uh, what? What? I don't know if I've ever had that happen to me. And why can a keeper not reach this? Like, is it the work zone or something? Okay, look, I'm gonna have to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> I did not expect, oh wait, the Leafy Lord Keeper Academy, Academy has nothing to do with the PFL zone. <gasps> Silly Siri, no wonder. Okay, 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 hang on. Oh no, okay, wait, oh dear. All right, wait, 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 okay, I got this. I got this, I got this, we got this. Totally got this. Don't worry about this. All right, let's see. I hope that that starts to fix a few of those things. Uh, whoops, that explains a lot. And then let me come over and the lore keepers are going to need to have access to, no, 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 no. That spot, that spot, and this spot if we're going to have the lore keepers come over and start giving talks. Phew, okay. <laughs> Now, we should have Stan properly fed, and we should have the lore keepers coming in, and we're starting to have a little bit more, a little bit more of what I always dreamed this place could be. Coming together in very silly, at times, very slow, though Stan's teaching us slow is not bad, <laughs> little bits of progress, and uh, I'm pretty happy about that. But all right, guys, thank you so much for joining me and Stan as we get settled in. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious and go at your own pace. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.